a massive open source release from Chinese Google Baidu. They've released a new family of models called Ernie 4.5. And for those who do not know Ernie, you should watch Sesame Street. And also the entire transformer ecosystem was built on top of BERT quite a while ago. So now we are in the age of large language models and there is an open source revolution happening in China and Baidu is following the tradition of DeepSeek. They've released a state of the art. That means the best, the best model, but completely free to use. And also you can modify the model. So with Apache 2.0 license, they've released only 4.5 models. The models come in different flavors, different architectures. And in this video, we're going to see what are the models that they've launched what are the other launches that they've launched? How the models fare against other models? And if you want to use the model, what you have to do? So first of all, Ernie 4.5 is from Baidu. Baidu is known to be this Chinese Google, which is like the search engine of China. And Ernie 4.5 is a family of large scale multimodal models comprising of 10 distinct variants. Now, what does it mean? It means these models are capable of handling more modalities, not just text, but also images. Now, the model family consists of something called MOE, which stands for mixture of experts. Typically, a large language model has got a dense transformer architecture, but this is a mixture of experts transformer architecture where every single token goes through a set of active parameters so rather than using all the weights all the parameters of the model it is to efficiently use the parameters that the model learned during the model training process and that is why whenever you see moe you will see two numbers one you will see the total size of the model and also you will see active parameters so total parameters and active parameters active parameters that Beiru has launched only with have a uh, different values 47 billion active parameters 3 billion active parameters uh, and the largest model has got totally 424 billion parameter model and this is exactly the model that beats deep seek v3 which is a very powerful base model and also for poor people like us gpu poor to be specific they've released a 0.3 billion a 300 million dense model which is like quite easy for us to use for different use cases now the most interesting thing of this is the moe architecture that they've launched today is not typically that something you would see every now and then this is a new novel heterogeneous modality structure now what does it mean this supports parameter sharing across modality there is a different modality like i said there is like image there is text now this is allowing parameter sharing across different modalities so typically if you have got a text model then the text parameter uh, handles the text modality and then there is like a, the image parameter that handles image modality but here they are supporting parameter sharing across modalities while also allowing dedicated parameters for individual modality so you can select different parameters and also dedicated parameters for different modalities. This is very, very important because this enables them. This gives them an advantage to enhance the multimodality understanding without compromising or even improving the performance of text related tasks. So while the model is really good with text related tasks, this new architecture helps them do better with multimodality also while not compromising on the text related task. There are two big highlights of this entire release. Like I said, one is the multimodal heterogeneous MOE pre-training. So they have got a mixture of experts, but the parameter sharing across multimodality is happening. The second important thing, in my opinion, is a modality specific post training. So to meet the diverse requirements of real world applications with different use cases, they have fine tuned variants of pre trained model. And if you're not familiar with LLMs, there is a pre training phase and there is a post training phase. Post training is where you make the LLM answer human questions rather than them just learning. So pre training is more like accumulating knowledge. Post training is exactly how they talk to us, how they respond to us, how they reason and all these things. So our LLMs, Beiru is saying, our LLMs are optimized for general purpose language understanding and generation. The VLMs focus on visual language understanding, supports VLMs. The vision language model also supports thinking and non-thinking models. This is something that Google has been doing quite a while. Uh, each model employed a combination of SFT, supervised fine tuning, DPO, direct preference optimization, or a modified reinforcement learning method called UPO. It stands for Unified Preference Optimization. So if you remember, GRPO became very popular with the DeepSeek Group Relative Policy Optimization. And here it is UPO, Unified Preference Optimization, which is something that they have kind of used here 
for post training of the models. Now in terms of benchmarks, I don't want to go over the benchmarks. You can just go read about it. But the biggest highlight is the largest model that they've got, the 300 billion parameter model total and 47 billion parameter active parameter model beats a DeepSeq V3. DeepSeq V3 is supposed to be one of the most powerful base models ever. And this model beats that model and comes with Apache 2.0 license. And I can't wait to see what the community builds on top of it. And if you were to see the smaller size model, even the model is not very bad, to be honest. Like you can use it for different use cases. Given that they've also released the smallest, the 300 million parameter models, base model. Now we can do a lot of experiments of fine tuning on top of it. Feel that, you know, I should make a fine tuning tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, this is a solid model that beats DeepSeq V3, also beats Quen 3. So uh, two big Chinese labs, the Quen Alibaba lab and the DeepSeq lab. And this model from Baidu is beating both the models. This model is doing a pretty good job when you compare it with state of the art models that are available. So for example, the post training multimodal thinking mode, uh, this is for visual uh, knowledge. This model, Ernie 4.5, is better than O1. And even to think that we have got an O1 level thinking model that is huge in size, can be used by large research labs outside of China. Not a lot of us can use the model because this is quite hard, like it's a really, really large size model. So this is a 28 billion parameter model, 3 billion active parameter model. These are smaller size models and across all the sizes, this uh, Ernie 4.5 is doing a pretty good job for both vision and also language related tasks, not just the understanding, but also the downstream tasks like chart understanding, document understanding, multimodal reasoning and all those things. And they've also released Ernie Kit, so which according to them is an industrial grade a development toolkit for Ernie 4.5. Provides model training, compression capabilities. It can also help you with pre-training, SFT, supervised fine tuning, LoRa, which is to create small adapters and direct preference optimization. Quantization aware training. This is something that Google has been doing quite a while with Gemma models. I've not covered it extensively, but we should probably do sometime. And then PTQ, post training quantization techniques. So if you want to build quantized models out of the Ernie models, then you should ideally use Ernie kit, which will make it really, really easier. And they've got examples as well. And another big release from Baidu is a fast deploy. So this offers out of box multi hardware deployment. So let's say you want to uh, rent a GPU and then you want to deploy the Ernie models. They've uh, made fast deploy so that it helps you with multi hardware, like multi GPU deployment and uh, you can immediately start running inference. So they've got examples for that. This is quite amazing. This is like completely permissive Apache 2.0 license, nothing like Llama license, nothing like Mistral license. This is completely open license. And I can't wait to see what the community builds on top of it. But again, once again, it's a shame that the entire world thinks that Chinese companies only like to steal things from US trade secrets. But the reality is that the state of the art open source models are actually from China. And this is one more addition um, in the list of great Chinese models. Let me know what you think about this scene on the video. Happy prompting.